Hey everyone, Todd here, and I want to talk to you about arm toughness. Why do we need arm toughness? Well, as you go through life, it doesn't matter what age you are, you're going to run into situations where you hit your arms. Ow, that hurts, you know, so you want to build up sensitivity so things don't hurt you as much, <laughs> you know. A lot of us today are spending time um, on computers and, um, you know, sedentary lifestyles, you know, our heads are down playing on our devices or whatever. So it's important to build up some kind of toughness, but it's physical toughness and mental toughness. They kind of go hand in hand. And I've showed some techniques before where I talk about, you know, building up toughness of the bones and hands and arms, you know, with cement work, you know, you know, which I don't want you to do because you could obviously break your bones. So we don't want to do that. And I've also shown videos, which I'll be showing more of, too, of the you know, like Wing Chun dummy, you know, doing Wing, Wing Chun dummy work. You know, that certainly helps toughen up your bones, your hands and your arms, especially practicing Wing Chun. Um, this, is, this is great practice for that. But again, we don't want to break our hands. We don't want to break our arms. We want to just build up some toughness um, of our skin and bones. And there's actual scientific evidence that shows that um, repeated... Um, light banging on the bones themselves actually builds up bone density. That's why runners have such strong bones from running and how workers that work with their hands have such strong bones. That's why you find a lot of big people. It's not just big muscle. It's actually big, big bones. Seriously, big bones, big ligaments, big tendons and stuff from, um, from doing those kinds of exercises. So I wanted to share um, a really cool, simple exercise that you can do with just basically your arms. So basically it's the same thing as working with your punches, okay? So if you're gonna be doing Wing Chun practice with chain punches or whatever, you know, you always, if you're a boxer, you know, you're working your punches, you always wanna block, right? And that's that right off the bat is a good exercise here where you're, you know, hitting against your hands, okay? But the exercise I wanted to point out here is, again, thinking of your punches like so, boom, 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 but you're going to be banging against your arms like this, okay? Back of your arms, all sides of your arms. Bang, 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 bang. This constant punches. You can even knock your arms together like this from all angles. It's a real simple thing to do, and you can do it anywhere. You can do it watching TV, but basically it's like sliding your hands, but instead of sliding your Fist punching, 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 punching. Just gently. Don't overdo it. Don't spend a lot of time doing this because you actually will start getting bruises. So start off lightly. You know, maybe just banging your wrists together, banging your arms together. And that over time builds up toughness and desensitivity to um, things that hurt you. So when you block, you know, it's going to hurt when you start fighting, doing, you know, fighting positions and things, you know, even working on Wing Chun dummies or punching bags or sparring with somebody, it's going to really hurt. But more than that, you're going to build up some strength and some toughness, you know, so that you can endure some of the hits and some of the blocks of, of things in life. You know, just the other day I was doing some tree work and, you know, some branches were coming my way and, you know, I had to block, block my head, protect my head from the branches. You know, and having tougher arms definitely helps do that. So just remember, it doesn't take a lot of fancy equipment to be healthy, to be strong, to be fit, especially in the martial arts. Start off real basic. So when I teach kids, that's what I'll do. I'll start working here, you know, with the arms, you know, and then we'll work partners. You know, you can do, uh, you do push hand practice and different things. I'll show you that later. That obviously will help too, you know, when you're doing that with a partner. But when you don't want to do it yourself, that's all you got to do. Just bang your arms. You can bang them, but don't overdo it. Because again, you're going to bruise yourself if you overdo it. So just do it for a couple of minutes, maybe every other day. It's all you got to do to get some bone strength and desensitize your arms.